just 17 with a life before him. He loved life, love his basketball, love family. Chris Randolph played drums at his church and basketball at Westerville South High School, number 33. And it was right after practice that something wasn't right. He sat down, then, you know, they try to check on him. That's the time they realize he collapsed. Amy rushed to St. Anne's Hospital and says Chris was awake and talking, but told her his heart hurt. She was there for his last words. The thing that kills me most, standing there, seeing my son taking his last breath, grabbing for mom, I can't do nothing. An autopsy revealed a heart problem that Amy never saw coming, never noticed any symptoms in Chris. In sudden cardiac death, sometimes the first symptoms are the last. We really get worried when they have symptoms with exercise or during competition. Dr. Kenny Graywall, a cardiologist at Riverside Methodist Hospital, says some patients are born with heart problems that never get noticed. Some are you know, congenital conditions you're born with, like enlargement of the heart or deformity in, in part of the heart. Others are electrical problems in the heart that uh, maybe only become manifest during very extreme exertion. Sudden cardiac death is just as it sounds. The heart fails often out of the blue. It is the largest cause of natural death in the U.S., killing more than 300,000 people every year. We're making the Christmas tree. Chris didn't make it to Christmas, but Amy cherishes her videos of him, along with cards from the funeral. And his teammates wore black armbands in memory of Chris. I miss his fun, miss his laughter. And Amy hopes every parent will learn from her story. Do everything you think you could do to save your son or daughter, because it could happen to anyone.